so after um, after waking up that Friday morning and realizing that enough was enough, um, I was able to find a group full of people just like me and a, a 12 step group. And there were things that I learned in that very first meeting uh, that resonated with me that I'll never forget. That there were three choices. Um, there was jail, institutions, or death. And I'd already been to jail twice. Uh, I had been to a family week for a family member at rehab, and that did not look fun. And uh, I knew that I was too young to die, and I didn't want to die. And so that fourth choice was to commit to recovery. And that was in the very first group and that I listened and I heard and I remember to this day. And the other thing that, that I'll never forget is um, understanding that there are various ways to, various pathways to recovery and I, and I support that 100% is that for me, I needed to turn this over to something greater than me. Um, and that was in higher power. And higher powers can come in a lot of different shapes and forms. But I knew the narcissist in me and the, the person addicted to alcohol and drugs who thought he was bigger, better, smartest guy in the room um, was no longer the case because he couldn't stop on his own. And so um, it was very simple to just simply say, um, and to say a prayer to ask for help to stay away from a drink or drug this day. And sometimes that happened once in the morning. Sometimes it had to be said four or five times a day. Um, and to ask for that obsession to be relieved. And then at the end of the night, um, you get through a 24 hour period without a drink or drug, you simply put your head in your pillow and you say, thank you. And, um, and that's, that's helped me through, through a lot. And so, um, and those are the t first two things I remember from that very first meeting I went to.